Hey guys, I want to show you a few things I just picked up from Walmart. Uh, but first, before I do that, I want to show you a garden cookie. And um, I am doing a, a volunteer internship at the art gallery in my local town. And we just mosaic the front of the uh, art gallery. So we had some leftover mastic left. And um, we made garden cookies out of it. And I didn't design this. Uh, my intern, um, the lady I'm doing my internship with, she designed it. Uh, but I think it's just fantastic, and um, you pretty much just, uh, instead of throwing away your mastic, you just uh, make a big blob of it and put what you want in there, let it dry, and you can throw these out in your garden. So next year, I'll put that out in my garden. But I'm really excited today because I just got a bead bloom, and I cannot believe that I found this at Walmart for $6.00. That is awesome. I was looking online, and they're like anywhere from, you know, 15 to 20, and, sh you know, shipping and everything else. I was actually shocked, and I didn't even see this until I was looking at the bead containers, and it was like shoved on the very bottom shelf in the back, and I'm like, holy crap, bead loom. So I bought this for six bucks, and we'll see how it works. Um, it looks like it's going to be pretty sturdy, but, you know, we'll see. And to go with the bead loom, I bought some um, beading cord. This is um, 75 foot of black beading cord. That was $2.50. I bought some beading wire, uh, actually beading cord, and it is uh, clear, so it, it kind of looks like fishing line. Uh, I was going to go with silver, but I didn't want to because I, I didn't want you to see the wire. I want you to actually be able to see the beads. And the other things that I bought today, I didn't buy that much stuff, but, you know, I just want to show you what I got. I got three different kinds of beads. I got these to make um, the Indian themed because I do have Indian in my family. Uh, my great-grandmother was full-blooded uh, Cherokee Indian, so I really want to learn how to do this because it's in my heritage, so um, that's another reason, um, actually the main reason I bought the bead loom. And then I got some blues and purple beads, and I also got some greens and blues and teals. Um, these are all glass beads, and they're all size 6, so they're a little bit wider. But, that's what I got today. Oh, I also got this. They had this on sale. My wallet broke, and I... I had to pick between Mario and Angry Birds, and I hate Angry Birds, so I ended up just getting a um, Yoshi wallet. I think that's Yoshi. I'm pretty sure that's Yoshi. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. I like it. It was on sale for 5 bucks. They're normally 12 so that was a pretty good deal. I don't like how the white is, uh, the back is white because it's already dirty just from the store. But uh, my wallet was broken. I kept dropping my bank card everywhere. And I would have lost it this morning if um, the nice gentleman behind me at Walmart was like, Hey, you dropped your card. So at that point, I put all my stuff in my car, came back in and bought a wallet. Um, I didn't really want to, but I have to because I'm not going to lose my bank card. That would be the worst thing that could happen. So that's what I bought today. Uh, not a whole lot, but I wanted to basically just stick with stuff that would work with the bead loom. So, um... I'm going to do some, because I have no idea how to do this bead loom. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm going to uh, watch some tutorial videos on YouTube and um, see if maybe I can figure out how exactly to do it. It looks pretty simple, but <laughs> nothing simple when it comes to beading and jewelry making. It seems simple until you get going. So we'll see, and then I'm going to also do a review on this, because, like I said, I can't believe it was only $6. So we'll uh, find out the quality once I open it and go from there. Well, I hope you guys have a great day. It's raining here and looks like shit, so <laughs> happy Halloween, and if you guys are trick-or-treating tonight, please be safe. Make sure you do check your candy. Make sure it's not open. No one has, you know, messed with it or tampered with it in any way. Just be safe. Have a great night.